Oh, good lord. Okay. Um. Okay. This is still fairly early. I'm probably gonna regret doing this because my throat hurts. Oh, good lord. Don't look at screen, look at gamepad. Okay. So. It's been a hot minute. I thought I had gotten past this level. I feel like I remember playing this level. Granted, I was stuck on a level last I remember too, so it could be the right one. Sacred. I don't know, it's been like two years <laughs> based on the fucking thing. I can't believe it's been two years. I feel like I should restart the chapter, though. Because I feel like I'm missing so much context. For what the hell is happening. I mean, it's definitely the start of the battle, so I'm not losing anything there. Okay, Ephraim. This all seems familiar. Brother, what happened to our home? What happened to Castle Renis? How did it come to be so ruined, so desolate? Spies report that the castle is being held by the traitor Orson. Orson. In retrospect, I realize he's been acting odd for a while now. He seems so dispirited. His wife passed away six months, some six months back. The loss may have been too much for his mind to bear. His love and devotion for his wife were well known among the knights. Now he sits alone in the king's former bedchambers. He makes no effort to govern. No one is allowed to enter. And the chambers and no one allowed to eh, no one is allowed to enter the chamber chambers and he takes no meals. What could he possibly be doing? I don't know. The spies have no insight into his behavior. He does nothing to deal with the dark creatures and bandits roaming the land. Reports say all of Arnithis is engulfed in chaos. Region after region is revolting, and Orson's reign is already crumbling. Left alone, it may very well collapse under the weight of his of its own neglect. We cannot allow us the situation to reach that point. We're going home, Erica. We're going to the castle. I hear you, Ephraim. Um, Ephraim? What is it, Mirth? I will fight with you. Now that Selina has returned my Dragonstone to me, I'll do what I can until its power runs out. Let's take back your home. Are you sure about this? For the two of you, I simply want to help. Alright, I understand. But you must make me a promise. You are to never stray from our sides. Got that? Of course. Okay. This sounds right. This sounds... Like I'm not backtracking too much. I pray to God I'm not. What is it, Monica? You seem so happy today. Of course, I know what today is. I'd never forget your birthday. I have a present for you, dear. Dude is going nuts, isn't he? I think you'll like it. You know something, that Orson, he gives me the creeps. What do you think he's doing back there? I've heard lots of bizarre rumors from the master or of the mess hall. Do you think he needs help? Could he be dangerous? I don't care. I'm here for the money. As long as I get paid, I'm happy. But on the subject of rumors, have you heard of the stories of the secret treasure? There's supposed to be some fa famous wealth hidden in Castle Renis. I tell you, if I find it, I'm gone. Eh, Miss Grave, it does my heart good to see you looking so happy, Orson. See what joy your treachery has brought you. I told you treason, treason would be sweet. Get out. 
This is Monica and my place. I will not have our home disturbed by anyone. I did as you asked. I betrayed Renis. My promise has been kept. How long are you going to continue this nonsense? Eric and Ephraim have joined forces. Even now, their united forces march toward the capital. Toward you. Eric. You cannot imagine they'll forgive you for your treachery, can you? I expect the sin of your betrayal has shattered your entire family's name. And after all you did to free your wife from the cold clutches of the grave. It's a shame that she'll be sent back. They're dangling from the hangman's noose. No, that can't happen. Oh, but it can, and it will. Unless you do something to stop it. You understand what is required, don't you? You'll have your orders, Orson. Monica, I'm sorry. I have something I must do. Please wait for me here. Oh, darling, don't look so sad. I'll be back soon, and then I'll never leave. I must do this to protect our happiness. You understand that, don't you? Alright then, I'll be back. If this were like a newer game, or even a darker game, it would show basically Monica being a limp, basic corpse more than anything else. He believes that thing is his wife. Aren't people amusing? Why? This terrible? Leon, you're struggling? Oh my, your nasty illness wearing its ugly head again. There's no need to worry. The pain will pass shortly. Leave everything to your humble servant, Reeve. Daza, come on. Check now. Be a man. Who are these folks? I need more info. Shit, I can't get more info. Well, I guess I'm gonna do a little save here. Just because you're gonna be slow as all fuck. People with horses can move faster. So. start. Okay, you can already hit from there. Okay. Magic users are gonna be a problem. She needs levels. Cause I don't want her being a fucking target. Yeah, if I need to get the other one. Will Iron Man do enough? Iron Man will do enough, so. Words always need to be around, so I don't want them being the weakest people in the room. Oh, you poisoned him, you dick! Shit, there might not be enough. But there's not enough room to move. with people strong enough to take on fire or magic damage rather let's get rid of the non magic user oh Soleil do a crit warm my heart with your crits that works out 
a level up, but we can get a weapon level increase, so we'll take it. I want to move you here. Hit attack. Steel bow. No damage, and you take it out in one hit. Perfect. I'm all for it. And you also get a weapon level increase. Mammy! Oh, and she dodged it. What a queen. Love her. I feel like I was stuck on this level forever. Why have I not? Or was it the other level that I was stuck on and then I just never came back to this one? And just forgot that I had gotten past the hell that was the other level. Quite possible. Good job, Arthur. Oh yeah, if no one hits your box, maybe I'd be fine. Like, skirt around you. What's your box at? So, those three. Okay. Okay. Pass the threshold. We all move forward. And Seth's just gonna do a crit. And even though he doesn't need to, because he does your damage, your health in one. Because fuck you. Yep, they're moving. Okay. That's what I thought was gonna happen. That's kind of why I kept Soleil toward the back there. Okay. Yep, this is this is why I didn't pass this one before. I probably should have just gone down and dealt with these fucks first. Um, Soleil, I might need you... I would definitely take him out, but I feel like he would also be a target for everyone else. What about Ness? Could you... 1913. 2313. So you still might be able to get... Yeah, one of the, the lower guys down in a hit. So I'm actually gonna throw you down there. And just take it out. There we go. And if Dawson can do the same with this one. Yep, single hit, will kill, and he gets two chances. Um, Nemi, what's your short bow? 18 and they only do four damage? Take him out! You can survive two fours. I will take it. Okay, wait, no, go here. Thunder? Well, so well, fire. And hopefully you dodge. Oh, you're just gonna crit! Better! I'll take it! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was more nervous about y'all than I think I needed to be. Staff, men, Erica. Live, please! Damn that fucking Persian motherfucker still trying to come at me! Good, Erica. Dodge. I don't want to have to waste time healing all the time. Oh, right. I forgot to leave people for a barrier. Oh, good. You all only do three damage. And you're gonna get crit. Motherfucker. Seth, we can chill a little bit. Just a, a little. Actually, no, don't chill. I realize that also saves your weapon ammo. So, 
Go ahead, crit every time. Kill him in one shot. I can't complain if it's going to save damage. Okay. The bolting guy wants to sell. The purging fuck wants Erica. Luckily, to sell is dodged every time. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that all those guys are gone. Uh, Kyle, maybe stay back here. Garrick can also come forward. Slay, stay here. And Arthur, here. Good in-between spot for now. And Enos dodged it, cause fuck you. <sighs> I was worried for a second. But Enos is a good boy. I feel like the series is gonna feel drastically different from part 33 to now, cause it's one been two years, and I've still been doing stuff. Outside of it, it's just been on stream and less recorded. And... Who spawned? Oh, a thief. Okay, I don't care. Because usually those leave me the fuck alone. Okay, we don't kill them in a single hit, but we kill them in two. Which can be better or worse depending on how many times they get to hit us. The thing, we're gonna create a restore point. Here. So, should things go awry, I'm not doing it this turn, but next turn, I won't have a whole lot of issues. Nemi's gonna be taken advantage of down here. Um, can I even get Ephraim? Like, where are you landing? Yeah, right there. So I can get some experience with him. Like, this is nice. And I can just bring Gillum a little bit forward. Should still be fine. Bring Kyle up. So what's the health on you? 48. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to think. I can see who does the most damage and who potentially can survive two hits. 11, 17. Okay. So if I let Dulce sit here get hit for 11, he'll do 17 back, which gets closer to 31, and then I can bring in Soleil and Garrick, who all of these, if they get hit twice, are probably fucked. Actually, no, you could take two. Which means we'll probably be going it first. You can take one. Like, it's a game of numbers here. It's all who can take the most damage and who can take it more than once. So Soleil and Enos can take one. Dulce can probably take a few. So I'll let him get hit once. Hey, maybe I'll dodge it. If you dodge it, great. Even better. We're all for dodges. But, if not, there's backup. I'm hoping Erica can get a kill on that other one. Or one of them. I won't let you come between us. Monica and I will live here happily together. Forever. 
person you don't seem great you switched to a fucking sword too and you didn't even hit doze uh, this is why I quick save prior to that bullshit okay erica can you kill please tell me you can kill you cannot or maybe you can You didn't crit! <sighs> I am with Killing Edge. No go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna let Ephraim. And he crit with the normal lance. <sighs> Will you kill him now? Still not a crit. I get better crit chance off of non-crit weapons. How? This is gonna be a hot second for me doing movement. Okay. So I'm gonna create a new restore point with this now. Because we are in a very ideal situation. That dude is not moving. That dude is not moving. And it is just now the boss. I don't think I'm gonna be using Nami. Arthur, you need to do a mend, ideally. If he switches to the other one again, then it will still be like 15. So I'm gonna do it. And you miss! Perfect! Just what I wanted. Okay. One down. Who else can two do two take two hits? Who's two hit? You can do two hits and you could take a second hit. And his other one's axe actually, so it's even kind of better. Because sword is stronger to axe. So, Iron Blade Steel, that's actually less. So we'll do Iron Blade. And... Dodged it! Good job, Garrick! You missed the second one, but still good. I'll take the dodges. Hemisphere. We'll only get 12. This would be 13. <sighs> okay. Seth, so you've come. Um, have you? Sir Orson. You're an impressive knight, Seth. You would sacrifice your life for king and country. Not even a moment's pause. It's a pitiful, unrewarding life, through and through. It is my charge, it is my hope. Sir Orson, prepare yourself. I almost thought he would agree, considering he's done it so often. Okay, I think we're still good. If we stop here, I think each of them are safe to take a hit without death. So whichever one he decides to hit, we're fine. I forgot you healed. <laughs> and you went for Seth. And... <laughs> of course, Seth ends with a crit. <laughs> Monica. Of course he does. Overachiever, my dear Seth is. Good lord. Oh wait, does Erica or Ephraim need to sit on the throne too? I forgot about that part. That isn't a thing in later games anymore. Not as much. I wish they did have more concepty. There are some, like, get to a certain point escape 
in three houses, but not as much as I feel like there should be for different kinds of things. Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica, the castle has been secured. And what is it? This way. This is the room Orson was holed up in. Darling, you, you, you're Orson's darling, 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 darling. What? This is horrible. Oh. This same magic was used to control Emperor Vigride. Vigride. She's already dead, and her corpse was used to- Who- Who could- You needn't look any longer, Erica. Let's go outside. Darling? 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 You can't say this thing is truly alive anymore. I'll... No. I'll do it. The two of them spent every day in here, did they? Orson was mad. But I think he was happy. We finally made it back. Yet... Hmm. We can repair the castle, and what was stolen, we can do without. But the wounds and suffering inflicted upon the people of Renes is too late to undo their pain. Once I become king, I must set at our country right. I doubt the people will give me a warm reception though. I did abandon them. All I can do is try to win back their trust, no matter how long it takes. Princess Erica, Prince Ephraim, you should look outside. Outside. Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica. The king has returned, our king. Glory to Renes, long live King Ephraim. They're not cheering for you. They cheer because Orson's misrule is at an end. They cheer the possibility of a better tomorrow, not the deeds we did today. But how will the hearts of the people move tomorrow and the next day? That is for you to decide. I will not let their hopes and dreams be shattered again. I will be king, like my father before me. I will dedicate myself to their happiness. And I will do all I can to help. Ephraim. Oh, that was Erica speaking at the end. I didn't even realize that. Prince Ephraim, Prince Erica. Princess Erica. Before Renes fell, King Fado entrusted me with this message. Raise the twins' bracelets in the hall of the Hall of Kings. The seal will be broken. The resting place of the sacred stone will be revealed. I understand. So we're supposed to raise our bracelets over our heads, right? Let's try it, Erica. I'm ready, Ephraim. Sacred passage. Underground. This is the stone of Renes. Yes, this is one of the five stones that defeated the Demon King. If Leon had re acquired our bracelets, the stone would have been destroyed by now. Together, we protected the only power that can help us stop Leon's insanity. Yes, it's only hope left to us. Hope for you and me, and the last true hope for peace. Let's get back, Erica. Huh? Brother? Look, our bracelets. They're... What is this? Are they reacting to the light of the stone? Erica's lunar brace and Ephraim's solar brace glow in the response to the sacred stone. 
With the power of the bracelets, the twins can now change classes! Do you want Erica to change classes now? Sure. <laughs> She's high enough level, and I'm hoping it will help her. She needs help. <gasps> 32 HP! Thank you! I'll take it! You want to have from Yes. I'm assuming you become more. Oh, you both become horseback. I thought he would be. Um. Not so much horseback, but more something closer to Gilliam. I can't believe the braces contain so much power. I wonder if Father anticipated all of this long ago. When I was growing up, I never thought about becoming king. I only wanted to be a good soldier, a good warrior, the best on the battlefield. Father never understood what I wanted, but I never understood him either. It was the same when Grotto invaded Renis. I should have stayed home to defend the kingdom. Instead, I raced off to fight for personal glory. Brother, I don't think you know how well Father understood your feelings. When I last saw him, he was concerned for nothing but our safety. Erica is correct. King Fado asked after your exploits every day. He always told me what a fine king you would one day make. Father. Now Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica, please follow me. The sacred twins of Renes should be near the stone on his... Rel... Reliquary? Ah, here we go. This lance can only be one of the sacred twins of Renes. Please, Ephraim, take the sacred relic and feel its weight. So this is one of the sacred twin relics, is it? I've never seen them. Look, there's a name inscribed here. Sigmund the Flame Lance. In this blade is sister to the lance, the other sacred twin of legend. Prince Erica, if you would. Princess Erica. Good lord, why do I want to say prince? Of course. There's a name carved here as well. Siegling. The Thunderblade. Uh, get rid of the tomahawk, because you can't use it. These are the ancient weapons of our ancestors. The weapons of heroes. They were enshrined generations ago to be used only by the king. And only in times of dire need. Such an awful power they possessed, and yet we need them to restore peace. I've seen enough of the horrors of war, but I can't turn my back on it. If we merely turn our eyes away, we surrender our world to atrocity. And so I must fight. I'll do whatever I must to bring back the peace we once knew. What is happening? Have you found um, the sacred stones? Yes, here it is. Wow, it truly is spectacular. This goes some way to brighten in the dark shadows that loom over us. Our country's sacred stones have been shattered by Grotto's men. The stone of Renes is our last remaining weapon. No, it's not. You have forgotten the stone of my beloved Ralston. Remember, there were five sacred stones for five nations. The stones of Grotto, Fralia, and Jehana are gone, but hope is not. We have the stones of Renes. We have the stone of Renes, after all, and that of Rostin is safe. Our road is clear, my friends. I must guide you to Rostin. You're right. Lancho, we're counting on you to lead the way. Of course, and you'll all be welcome to stay at the day in the palace. And Erica, you shall be my guest in my own private quarters. Let us be on, be on our way. Oh, that's the chapter, and... 
I kind of feel awful that it took me so long to get back to this game. I will probably try to... I've gotten more comfortable a little bit with the stream stuff to just trim things down. So a lot of the fight, especially me just moving piece by piece a little bit, will be cut out a bit more. And hopefully I can finish this up because I think I really should be retiring my Wii U. But that is all for this recording. And I'll see you in the next one.